Here we have a PS2 trackball. I've connected it via this level shifter to the MicroPython Pi board on pins X1 and X2. Uh, since the, the device is a 5 volt device, I've had to use the level shifter and I'm getting 5 volts from the VIN pin of the Pi board. Um, because it requires quite, a, quite fast tw switching, I'm using external pull-up resistors here, 1K pull-up resistors on the two pins on the MicroPython board side. So that's the setup. Um, and now you can see I'm going to execute the code. We just, in my little VS2 mouse module, I'll do call the run. And we can see that it it replies, it gets, it, it uh, displays the replies that it's gotten. So first thing it has done was to reset the mouse and got an ACK, then a BAT, and then the mouse ID or the trackball ID. And then uh, it sets it to remote mode, which means that uh, the mouse, the trackball will not provide any data until it's pulled. And then it's going to display the X and Y offsets and the status bit. This is the status bit. This is the status byte here. So now if I move the mouse, you'll see how it just runs by. And each time it pulls, it provides a tiny bit of movement. So you see, each time I'm getting a little bit of movement. And it tells, and the status things can be none. That means it's X and Y are positive. Negative X, negative Y are both. So you can see how it provides data at the polling. The polling frequency here is 20 milliseconds currently. Now this works pretty well, but the timing is very crucial. And uh, for some reason, uh, it's not exactly correct and you'll find that it will lock up occasionally. But uh, as you can see, I'm moving it quite fast and we're not getting any lockup. Um, this is pretty good for a first attempt. I'm using the Viper code emitter, emitter uh, following Damien's uh, suggestions. It was impossible, as far as I could see, to do it with the normal native or bytecode uh, emitters. But it works very well, um, almost as well as the Arduino. With the Arduino, we have much quicker uh, execution, even though the Arduino is turning is running at uh, one-tenth the frequency. The compiled code just runs much faster. However, this is good enough uh, for what I'm doing, and I'll continue to work on it. This will all be posted on my uh, GitHub repository. Thank you.